Hi guys, it's time to check knowledge database of ChatGPT and now I would like to ask uh, this neural network to assist me in statistical analysis of datasets. Therefore, today we will do some math, of course, with the help of coding in MATLAB. Thus, uh, I've got some examples of datasets and let give a chat GPT chance to assist us with full statistical data analysis. Let's go. Okay, uh, first of all, let me introduce which data I have. Thus, uh, I just uh, use uh, standard uh, in MATLAB data sets, uh, which called imports uh, 85. If we run this script, uh, you will see that actually I have variable x in which we have uh, 205 um, rows and uh, 28 columns of different parameters. Um, that's why uh, actually for now it is doesn't matter what is it. Uh, we just use columns of this data for perform statistical data analysis. Thus, first of all, let's go to chat GPT and let's check what it uh, know about statistical analysis. Okay, thus, uh, write, okay, sorry, uh, thus, uh, write, uh, write, code in MATLAB 2016, uh, I would like to specify uh, what I would like to get um, for full statistical analysis of input data in variable data. I think it will be enough just for now. And uh, uh, also I like to ask um, at description in for each line, for each line. In this case, we understand behavior of uh, Chat GPT. Let ask. Submit it. Okay. Okay. I will increase maximum length of our feedback and then click submit. Okay. We've got. Uh, I think we could copy this script and check with our data. Thus, I copy and paste in my uh, script. And uh, actually, first line we do not need because it is loading the data. Uh, you see that I just copied from uh, X matrix. Yep. Uh, then mean uh, and standard deviation. Calculate the mean and standard deviation. Yes, great description. Uh, calculate the median. Yes. Calculate the skewness. Uh, calculate uh, the kurtosis. Calculate the range of data. Uh, calculate quartiles uh, for data. And calculate the correlation coefficient. Okay, let's check uh, what we have uh, after the run of this script. And you will see that there is no mistake and it means that uh, everything is uh, great 
and uh, we've got calculated all the data. That's why, please look uh, on the right side of my workspace where you can see correlation data, matrix 26 in 26. Yes, and we can see uh, which uh, variables are correlated. Then, uh, then uh, kurtosis, yes, uh, mean data for each column, it makes sense. Median, yes, it is also present. Uh, quartiles, uh, for each column, uh, range data, yes. Skewness, yes, and standard deviation. That's why very well I I like like it. However, I uh, would like to see some plots and of course histogram. That's why uh, could we ask uh, ChatGPT not only to get uh, uh, this one um, and uh, plot graphs okay sorry plot we need to be careful plot uh, data sets okay and uh, build histogram And build histogram. Okay, there are 26 uh, data sets in my uh, matrix. That's why probably I will ask uh, to plot histogram for fifth column. Thus, build histogram for uh, fifth column. Okay, fifth column of matrix data and uh, just uh, press run and we will see that uh, chat GPT uh, left uh, the already generated code and just add what we ask uh, his plot the data sets just figure plot data uh, build the histogram yes uh, new figure and then apply function hist i think it will work thus i just copy it and paste in uh, our script at the end and then uh, let it run again and we've got histogram for this column and we've got uh, our data set uh, i think we could add a legend uh, that's why let ask um, chat gpt to add uh, to add legend and called each uh, data set as a mean value thus uh, create a legend and uh, title each line as a mean value in a column column of uh, matrix data oh, okay you see uh, it will be a little bit more complicated uh, let's check how chat GPT uh, can understand our interrogation uh, we, we, we we have seen some um, 
some math here. Okay, and uh, we've got legend. Uh, I will try to copy this legend and then go to our code, then put it immediately after slot. Uh, okay, and run it again. And as I can see, that chat GPT cannot understood uh, what I ask him because because uh, there are like type uh, mean value in column one, mean value in column two because I uh, would like to see uh, particular values five seven and many others because it requires to transformation of data thus we see that uh, chat gpt cannot um, cannot understand what uh, i would like to get actually that's why it is a pity however we can uh, survive with it because always we can do it by yourself that's why, as you can see, ChatGPT uh, give us a great possibility to do a lot of math in MATLAB, including full statistical data analysis. That's why you do not need to know MATLAB at all. You just need to code what would you like to get and then be focused on data and solving a particular task. That's all, guys. Thank you for watching. See you again.